Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode 12 of season 3 of Pretty Derby. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You're not going to talk about that? Because it's always been Kita. Because if she didn't, she would have kept going. Oh, <laughs> No, oh, honey. <laughs> A whole episode of just nothing but special week crying. Oh my god, I would die. Poor baby. I would, <laughs> that would be a sad episode. Oh my god. So then, my thing is 
if we get a season four, is it going to focus on her? I hate the fact that she has to retire, but I get it. When your body just when you know that your body is no longer at it's what it used to be. It sucks. Love the fact that she stacked them up. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, because you know you're not going to see him tomorrow.
Yeah, don't you want to hang out? Sad. I think pretty much everybody is sad. Because, I mean, I think a lot of us assumed that Kira would be... She, regardless, she is still the best of the best. All these girls are the best of the best, but still. You're just shy, and that's okay. The poster on the right. Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, now I feel like season four might be about her. And now thinking about it, it wouldn't be that bad. Because then Kira can still have so many other moments, you know? Your baby, right? So my guy. My baby. And see, at the same time, none of the rest of these girls are going to go easy on her. They're still going to treat her just as much as anyone else. Yeah, but the good thing the thing is she has to pace herself.
And you can't catch up to her. Oh. Oh shit. Like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. 
It is, but at the same time, it's it's a happy one because you're looking at your whole history. No. It's too much. I, I can't. This is depressing, bruh. I... What is with some of these animes being depressing as fuck? I mean, seriously, this, you know, season one. Yeah, season one, in a nutshell. Cute horse girl wants to win a race. Season two, cute horse girl wants to run a race. But next thing you know, she can't race anymore. Season three, an underdog. Cute horse girl wants to win, but she at her peak. What's next, season four? What you gonna do? I mean, who are you really gonna focus on? And break my heart. Because seriously, this show, I, and as much as I love it so much, this show be breaking my heart. Seriously, like, I mean, season one was like a happy ending. And season two and three, we have these sad moments with these girls. But at the same time... We look at their journey and their career in this series as a happy one. It's like, we'll never forget them and such. But after this, I just feel like after the season is done, she's going to become a background character because everybody else on her team has been like that, where they've gotten that spotlight. And the next thing you know, they're background characters and for someone's story. Which, I mean, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. Please don't take that as a bad thing. It is still a good thing and such. And you get to see somewhat of a development with some uh, with her and other characters. Especially if there is a moment where, like, Teo, McQueen, um, any of the other girls, Special Week, you know, any of them. Just get to have a moment and to, like be you know like a big sister to Kita or Diamond or any of these girls but still you secretly kind of wish that you would have like another episode another season another something focusing on these characters that you love so much because it's like like damn it I still want a whole fucking season on Rice like I mean because that's my baby but still like god dang you couldn't even give me that you give me episodes which I love hell even the road to the top I love as well and getting something like that but I really think because of the fact is they switch the character out in this opening it's already confirming that she's going to be the person in season four and such and what she's going to have to deal with but who knows they might change it it still could be somebody else she is a very interesting character to see what her is her history and her storyline for season four would be like but it's still, you know, up in the air. It's a big old what if. We're not really 100% sure on this if this show is going to get a potential season four. But we all secretly know it's getting a season four. I mean, three seasons in, and I don't think they stop it. I don't think they'll do, um, like, Bang Dream or, well, d 4 DJ is only really on season two. There is no confirmation of season three yet. Or... We'll say Love Live. So they're not doing the same things of like what Love Live and Bang Dream are where it's like we have the three seasons. We might get a movie. Well, technically, you can count the OVA, The Road to the Top, as the movie. But I still think we're going to get more because both, um, not Sunshine, the... The no, okay, Nijigasaki and freaking Love Live, um, superstar are paving a way of getting another season of something or an OVA of something. So it's not the traditional two seasons or three seasons, and then maybe like a movie here and there and such. And we never get to see these characters like animated again, and we only hear their sayings in the games. Bang Dream, looking at you. <laughs> Idolmaster Master also looking at you as well. I'm just saying. Um, but that's really what I would like to see. I, I'd rather it continue into another series instead of it being like, okay, let's nip it in the butt. Let's be over with this and let's just continue on with like the game. And I get that because of course, yes, um, the gotcha system and everything. And you know, because mobile is like super high tech and not really, not really high tech. What the fuck am I talking about? Super popular. And because that has taken over the world and such. 
even though everyone does not like microtransactions and, you know, gotcha games and stuff like that, but we all know I do, um, you're getting your money from somewhere. And they're going to keep doing it. They're, they're milking the hell out of us. Come on now. We all know that. But still, this was a good episode. Still sad. Too many feels. Way too many feels. But next week is the finale. We pray. We pray it ends on a high note. That's all I'm going to say about that. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to you towards episode 12 of season 3 of Pretty Derby. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.